Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. I wanted to produce a fan, right? I wanted to produce a fan and I think I've managed. I will show you what I'm going to, going to build and hopefully it will work. Here I have designed a base plate, all right? I have these two LEDs, one with NET and one with IoT. So the two LEDs, network connection, wireless connection and Internet of Things connection, so MQTT connection. I'm hidden, I'm, I've hid it, I hid, I hid it, I hid, yeah. The electronics down here, yeah. you see there is the DC-DC converter, there is the, the ESP, yeah, and well, Underneath there here there is some with a motor driver so should be fine. Here I have a cable a cable hole so that we can go to the to the uh, LEDs and here I have a connector mm, so that we can plug in power. Mm. So this is the, the downside it will it will look like that. Uh, there it will stand like that. Here is a hole. And this is this hole is just for motor connection. Right? So this this is just for for uh, the engine to the motor. Okay? Because actually, what it looks like, what it will look like, is black. Yeah? You see, it's good that I have not shown you like this because you would not have seen anything. Yeah? So that's it. Let's see. We will produce here this, this motor. This will be mounted here. Yeah? And then we put in here the motor. Okay? This should fit. Hopefully this fits. Yeah? There are the connections of the motor. And we should... What if I'm switching now? Also, not, not very good. Not very good. So, yeah, there the motor is located, huh? this and the cable down. Then we have the cover of the motor. And now we only have the motor shaft here, all right, appearing at the, at the top. Yeah? I will screw this all together. Yeah? and. I've also added here a fan. All right, looks a little bit like a Kaplan uh, turbine. Uh, no wonder, because this is ori my origin. I made it red. <laughs> yeah, this is how this shell look like. All right, and yeah, then I also designed. Uh, as some sort of tube, so some, some sort of cover should look like that. Yeah? That we can, here is the fan, here it shall suck at these windows. This should be the suction side, uh, and yeah, here it should blow out. Yeah? And I hope the airstream is strong enough to balance a ball somewhere here and that we can bring the ball up and down depending on the on the speed on the speed of the fan. Since I do not know how to design this nozzle here, yeah, I prepared a connector, you see here, I prepared something so that we can screw something on, yeah, that we can alter the the nozzle. This here I think it would be nice to have it also controlled by by augmented reality. Augmented reality. So I built this here for a, a thing mark. Put the logo of our school on. Yeah, and that's actually it. And I hope it turns out that way. This is what what it shall look like. So next couple of hours, days, probably, printing. The first thing I'm going to print is this, is this, uh, is this fan. <laughs> 
because I really like I think it looks nice. I think I managed to let it look nice. I hope in reality it always looks, looks like that nice. I will also, I will also somehow mm, take care that this is, that this is very, really flat and so on. So I will, I will spray it with filler. Ah, let's see what, what I can manage. Yeah. So that's going to, be, going to be the design. Next video will be about mounting this stuff together. Right? right now, I'm printing. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.